Hey creators, my name is Sol and welcome back to the Live channel. Today, we'll be going over the avatars portion of our application. The avatars portion has a plethora of features that creators can use and customize with, while Mixed Reality allows you to put your physical self into the game. More on Mixed Realities in a different video. Our avatars feature allows you to become whatever you want to be. You could be a VTubing avatar, you could be Goofy, you could be Sonic, Doom Guy, anyone that fits your personality and needs as long as the avatar is supported with Live. In this video, we'll cover just about everything regarding avatars for Live, from getting an avatar, calibration, cameras, and much more. And I'll be joined by a familiar face for the Live brand, Adam Bombadi. Hey everyone, I'm a fellow content creator, but I'm also product marketing over at Live. Let's go ahead and show you how to get started. Grabbing an avatar is actually really easy in most cases. The first being Ready Player Me avatars, like Adam Bombadi. She's using the Ready Player Me. It is an easy site that allows you to create a custom avatar that can look like you and can be used on multiple platforms, not just live. You can create one from scratch or by using an image of a face. Another alternative is Modelsaber.com. People in the past have created avatars for Beat Saber and those files work for live. If none of those are to your liking, you could always commission someone to make you an avatar or use an application like Vroid Studio, which is what my avatar is made out of. The current files that are supported with live or VRMs avatar and their previously stated ready player me. We do have plans to add more in the future, just be patient with us. Installing an avatar is really simple. First, make sure the avatar live portion of the application is running and that the window is visible. Then once you have your avatar file or VRM file, you can simply drag and drop the file on top of the application. You'll then be prompted that your avatar has been successfully imported. Alternatively, you can do this manually by going to your documents folder, live, then avatars. Now, how do you access Live in the headset? Depending on when you're watching this video, there's currently two ways to do this, the current full build and the beta of the application. Some adjustments are being made to the beta before it's fully implemented, so anyway, here we go. While in the headset, if you're not within the public beta, you can access the Live UI by pointing your controller to the Live icon down at your feet. Your cursor will be indicated by a green dot, and once the Live icon does a complete circle with a green outline, you also do the same when closing the UI, when you're done obviously. Within this menu, you'll be given several options and a large amount of tools at your disposal. You have the avatar section, camera one, camera two, and viewfinder. We'll go through each one here shortly. Now, if you're wanting to use our public beta, make sure live is closed. Head to Steam, right click, select properties, betas, and on the drop down menu, select the public beta. Now, the live menu will no longer appear at your feet during gameplay. To open the live menu, open the Steam VR dashboard using the Steam button on your controller. For me, I'm using the index, so it would be beneath my B buttons. In the Steam VR dashboard, click on the live icon at the bottom left of your Steam VR dashboard or aim at your feet and activate it that way. Now, to exit the application, you can either press the X at the top right of the live UI or open the Steam VR dashboard again and click close menu. The avatar section of Live allows you to select the avatar of your choice along with options for what kind of trackers or body parts are allowed to be visible within the Live Capture window on the left panel. On the right panel is the calibration. Selecting Calibrate T-Pose will pull up a green hologram with circles. Align your tracking points with the T-Pose while using the feet positioning at the bottom as your guide. If the calibration is not to your liking, you can select the Edit Calibration button to manually adjust your limbs. Camera One has several different preset positions and plugins available for creators to use. There's a selfie camera, third person camera, enhanced first person view, gamepad, and plugins, all of which has customizable sliders beneath each selection of the UI to be, well, adjusted to your liking. The selfie camera is similar to a selfie stick. You can drag the camera around by pointing your controller inside the inner ring and holding the trigger. Releasing it will leave the camera wherever you left it, and you can also adjust the distance of the camera by pointing to the smaller circle in between the inner and outer circles and dragging that circle horizontally. Sorry, a lot of circles. <laughs> Normally the camera will face you if you want to control the direction it's filming in, check the static camera box at the bottom of the UI. Then a dotted line connecting to an X will appear. The X tells you where the camera is facing. The third person camera films your view from the third person perspective with adjustable settings to make the third person perspective a bit more unique to you. You could have it offset to your far left 
or far right, your call. The enhanced first person view captures your HMD view, your headset, similar to SteamVR Mirror, but with some extra settings that you could adjust. And also, it shows your avatar that you're using. The gamepad camera allows you to use an Xbox controller to fly around and move your camera in a free form fashion. This is really great to give you a cinema. I don't even know how to say that word. Cinema cinematographic cin cinematographic cin cinematographic control. I wrote this script and I don't even know how to pronounce words. This is great to give you cinemat cinematographic control, meaning you can just make movies with it if you want to. You could do something great like our very own demo kudo. Now the plugins tab has a few built-in cameras from the Live team. However, there are some great members of the community that have made astounding camera plugins that you have to try. So I highly recommend going into our Discord, which is in the description, so you can go get those plugins. Camera 2 can be adjusted similarly to the selfie camera. However, it simply shows your avatar alone on an alpha background for your capture software. Think of it like your typical VTuber setup where you can put yourself in that corner of shame and talk away. The viewfinder lets you see how the camera looks, basically showing you what the viewers see. It is also adjustable like the selfie camera. It can be placed at your wrist. It can also be locked to your head or HMD headset whatever you want to call it, or as I previously stated, adjustable using the world option. Basically, it'll just out beyond the world and you can move it about. Adding live to your broadcasting software such as OBS or Streamlabs OBS is rather simple. When adding a source to your scene, you'll want to use the game capture and select the window titled live output to get all of camera one enabled functionality. However, camera one only works with games that have our SDK implemented, so just be aware. Technically, it can be used without a game as a transparent window, but that's up to you. As for the second camera, the window is titled viver.exe and can be used without our SDK implementation. Well, I hoped Adam and I could clear up and help you with a quick setup of Live and our avatars feature. Now, Adam does have other tutorials regarding Live and its features, and Toge VR has a masterclass for mixed reality. If you're interested in those, we will leave a link to both of their channels in the description down below. We will be doing a mixed reality tutorial here as well if that suits your fancy, so stay tuned if that really tickles it. Now, if you're interested in what games have Live support, check the link in the description or go to live.tv slash games. We're always finding games to implement our SDK. If you have any suggestions, I mean, and I mean any, be sure to leave a comment down below telling us which games, or by going to live.tv slash games, there is a button on the top right suggesting a game. If you have any questions as a content creator or a developer, comment them as well. Feel free to hop into our community discord and chat with us and your fellow creators. And with that, live wishes you well and live on creators. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.